Hey everyone, thanks for joining. Uh, this is Solgari speaking with uh, Mecoms today. I'm here with Johan, the CCO of Mecoms. Uh, maybe Johan, you can introduce yourself and uh, uh, what Ferranti Mecoms is about and why we're here today. Okay, cool, sure. So uh, I'm Johan van der Kerkhove. I'm Chief Commercial Officer at Ferranti. We sell a product called Mecoms, a metering and contract management system for energy and utility companies. I think it's really exciting times to be active in the industry. If you think about utilities, uh, is daily news on what's happening in our industry. We're faced with a lot of challenges. We just recently had a, a pandemic and that has changed the way people work and, and utilities also have to face that challenge. So that is creating many opportunities. Yeah, and uh, I think one thing that we've noticed, mm -hmm. at least on the um, uh, customer experience side of things is that Customers, uh, especially with COVID, mm. uh, expect a new level of mm. customer service and customer uh, experience. Mm. And digitization is now required uh, mm. as a part of um, any sector, especially utilities mm. now is starting to think about how they can be, I guess, uh, more proactive than reactive when it comes to uh, working with their customers. So what do you think uh, some of the trends are right now in, in terms of um what what the utility companies are looking for in terms of how they get in touch with their customers and uh, is it becoming more priority mm. now than uh, it was maybe mm. before the COVID pandemic? No, absolutely. I think the the, the trend in in uh, self service, managing uh, your your utility bills, your meter reads, your customer contact via apps, fully yep. digital, that was already a trend. But I think what the, the, the pandemic has, has, has accelerated is also the way uh, call centers operate and how omni-channel communication happens. And uh, we see a lot of utilities that needed to, to accelerate in that trend. And also the idea of uh, working everywhere from any device and still having all those communications channels available, that, that's a big challenge for a lot of utilities on top of and the challenges they, they already used to have. Yeah, of course. And uh, it also comes down to the data behind it. So they're making data-driven decisions around their customer. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, that's one of the reasons that Solgari is uh, working with Mecoms is that we see um, a really easy way to align with, with your commercial strategy as well, because uh, obviously the data uh, that you guys bring to the table is all on the Microsoft Dynamics stack, and it's, mm -hmm. it's geared towards uh, the utility sector. Mm -hmm. And so... What Solgari brings to the table is the ability to use that dynamics data uh, to help outbound communications, right? So whether that's, um, like you said, the contact center is becoming more and more important. So we have to gear towards um, you know, voice, video, call, chat, and bringing those channels into uh, the dynamics ecosystem. And um, I don't know, maybe you can give me some insight in terms of... Uh, what may be the, the legacy solutions customers you see are using and, and where we want to take them in terms of a future contact center on the cloud? Do you see um, uh, legacy systems being uh, something that's going to stay around or uh, do you mm. think the cloud-based solutions are, are the future? Mm. And I think it's a good question. Eh? And, and if you look at typical energy company, they, they will have many applications to, to manage complex processes. As you say, a lot, a lot of data is there, and and we we see more and more utilities uh, embracing the thought of moving away from data silos, uh, because typically a legacy application is a, is a data silo, yeah. and and what we also see with utilities that if they they switch channel, be it something classic as sending out a letter, an email, or if you talk about Facebook, WhatsApp, if you talk about your call center. Those things, yeah, if it's really point-to-point -point applications with a separate data silo, it becomes challenging, definitely, if the customer switches channel on, on how they communicate. So that's, that's a challenge that we see. And uh, what we try to achieve is that to make it as easy as possible for the call center operator to, to, to do their job, yeah. uh, but also from the self-service side so that the customer can take actions themselves because we're moving away from a, a classic front office, back office perspective uh, to a more skilled uh, operator model. But then we need to enable people to, to easily do complex actions. Eh? 
and that it's 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 on many levels. That's where we we really focus. Yeah, and and traditionally everyone's kind of worked in their own mm -hmm. um, system, right? Mm -hmm. Customer service has their own mm -hmm. customer service tools. Mm -hmm. Sales uses their own sales products and. Mm -hmm communication methods and mm. as we go forward we just see all of that kind of consolidating and so we've got to um, keep everything and uh, I guess what they call is a single source of truth to yeah. allow yeah, customer service and sales and marketing mm. to all work on the same mm. platform so everyone's using that data mm. to make the right decisions right and so there was a there was actually an article I read um, this morning where it was saying that 40 percent of uh, utility customers that are switching right so let's say an energy uh, uh, customer is looking to switch, that mm -hmm. the um, customer service or the uh, uh, customer success mm -hmm. or the retention team um, never even mm -hmm. really reaches out. So 40% uh, uh, of those mm -hmm. customers who are switching mm -hmm. don't ever get the Hail Mary or the, um, the opportunity to have someone reach out and say, hey, why are you switching? Can we do anything to mm -hmm. keep you on uh, as a customer? And I think that's the first step, right, is mm -hmm. being proactive and making sure that you are able to communicate with those customers. And if you see someone is uh, looking to leave, that you've got the right automations or the right uh, communication methods to at least um, try to retain customers and, and lower churn, right? No, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, today we're, we're at our, our Boost event uh, where Ferranti is bringing uh, a lot of customers together in one place to think about where, where utilities are heading. And, and just this morning, uh, we saw the, the keynote of Steven van Belgium, who talked about that a lot of utilities only have, as you put it, a, a billing relationship. Yeah. Uh, and they're, they're very reactive and they, they, they need to become uh, a trusted relation of their customer. Think about the customer experience. And we're now all about convenience, easy, and that's very important. Eh? And then, of course, if your customer communication channels are, are cumbersome and difficult, yep. yeah, that doesn't help in, in, in sort of being proactive, creating convenience for the customer, creating value. Eh? And that's an important step in, yeah, both in business process, but also in technology that, that enables that. Yeah, it all comes down to um, as minimum friction, I think is yeah, what Stephen yeah, was saying. Yeah, absolutely. Is, uh, the less friction you can cause between yourself and your customer, mm. um, the more likelihood you're going to, uh, in terms, value their time, right? And so these modern contact mm. centers that we're bringing together now um, enable that, uh, that in customer, if they've got a problem or if they want to mm. give feedback, they can use any channel they want, right? Whether that's mm. Facebook or mm. WhatsApp. Mm. Um, and get routed to the right agent with the right mm -hmm. skill set to support uh, that customer. Mm -hmm. And uh, just like we were saying, if you're working with four or five siloed data systems, or you know, you've got mm -hmm. your uh, social media channels or your voice channels, and you use a separate system for, mm -hmm. for SMS, mm -hmm. there's no way to truly understand the full customer picture. Yeah. And so uh, working with Mecoms, we're now mm -hmm. gonna give you that 360 degree view of your customer. So everyone's on the same mm -hmm. page, no mm -hmm. matter if you're uh, uh, a salesperson or a customer service agent, you're going to know exactly what's going on with that customer. Yeah. It's going to lower churn. It's going to uh, help you upsell, cross-sell uh, different product lines as well. And the, the data is really important. Eh? And, and, and to, to touch on another topic, if you, you think about data, it, it, it's also about privacy. It's about security. And, and, and those things are, are, have always been important, but become more and more, more important. And, and, we see that the cloud does enable a lot of controls there, and not only security and controls, but also creates a lot of insight. Eh? If you look at Dynamics 365 customer insights, that's providing information to, to employees, users using the system, so yeah. they can indeed be more proactive. Eh? And linking that to, to the anywhere, any device setup, that's quite often difficult for legacy applications to, to give the option of anywhere, any device in a secure manner with data privacy controls, et cetera. So that's, that's a big thing for us. Yeah, and also with the, the high customer demands, mm -hmm. right? They want to be able to um, reach you through any mm -hmm. channel. Mm -hmm. um, it also comes with uh, the customers need to be able to move quickly. So mm -hmm. if they're on these large legacy systems that you know they make a decision mm -hmm. to implement a legacy contact center, it takes six months or a year. Mm. You know, that's, that's too long and, and not flexible enough as the cloud-based solutions mm. that we're offering today. And so um, that's one of the big USPs that we see uh, together with some of the customers we're working with is that, uh, mm. 
we can get you up and running in a few weeks mm. instead of a, a few months or sometimes mm. years mm. Um, that it takes with these legacy solutions. So time is of the essence, right? Uh, yeah. You can't yeah. wait around and let your customers dictate uh, uh, the behaviors. You're going to lose them to competitors that are advancing. So I think you're spot on there mm. in terms of the, the customer experience is changing and speed is, mm. is uh, very important in this industry right now. I want to thank you again, uh, Johan, for uh, jumping on the speaking with uh, Solgari today. It's been great insight uh, and learning a bit more on um, the utility sector and uh, you know contact center as a as a service. So thanks again. You're welcome. Happy to help and was an enjoyable chat. Perfect. So, uh, great. Thank you. Let's get back to the event. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, guys.